and welcome to an Eternian video. I'm going to look at a mage build for players that are sort of relatively new, hit level 70, um, and you've got some recipes unlocked, maybe not all of them. You've definitely not got enough materials to craft epics. Uh, you've definitely not got a fire lily at this stage, so you're looking at building epic experience farming gear um, and still being able to run trolls relatively efficiently. Um, what I'm going to do, we've got a hybrid build here, we'll run through that in a moment. First of all I'm going to show you how I've built the jewellery. Um, it's the same for the two rings and the necklace. Um, what I've got for the necklace um, is created nine uncommon experience necklaces nine crit damage uncommons then uh, these are the other crit damage then we've got three crit rating I've put teardrop uh, gemstones in these just to boost the stat that we get when we fuse them up a little bit uh, so we're not going for perfect jewellery here, we're just making something to tide us over for now. Um, then another crit rating, two vitality and three vitality necklaces. And what we shall do is fuse these together. So that's going to create a whole bunch of rare necklaces. Our three experience rares will fuse those together. We'll get an epic with a single experience stat. Our three crit damage ones will fuse those to get a single crit damage stat. And our We've got a crit rating here, so I'm going to put a teardrop in there. Uh, vitality and crit rating. Uh, let's stick a vitality in. And this one's pure vitality, so we'll put that in. And fusing that gives us a vitality and crit rating epic. And final step, I'm just going to drop teardrops into those just to boost the stats a little bit more so we're going to end up with a experience crit damage crit rating vitality necklace which I shall quickly equip and if we take a quick look at the rings as well experience crit rating crit damage vitality it's the same sort of things been done for those two so the build itself is using three different set uh, pieces of armor We're using two pieces of scholar which i think are on the hood and the shoulders yes um, i've gone with ability rate haste and experience and the reason i'm using two of those is we get a two-piece bonus giving us 210 crit rating so this is going to help us get some crit rating into the build. I have two pieces of apprentice on the pants and boots with movement speed, haste and experience on both of those. And the reason for two of these is 840 crit rating. So together with the scholars we're now adding in 1050 crit rating without actually having to worry about putting it as a stat up here so that's quite nice that helps us out when we're not able to craft legendary um, last two pieces are the chest and gloves which I'm using elemental lords regalia uh, ability rate haste and experience and ability rate haste experience on those uh, we have an integralis mantle ability, ability rate haste experience uh, regular trinkets, frost damage, ability rate, experience, frost damage, critical damage and experience. Uh, a regular 
bracer frost damage ability rate experience and for whatever reason it decided to throw a 77 at me when I rolled the frostfire sash which as a mage should be your first unlock that you're looking to do with glory so frost damage haste and experience um, for companions at the moment basic companion setup uh, got not even leveled up Robin at all at the moment then we've got a healer and Marcus for some added toughness on champion levels no points whatsoever assigned um, and that will give us at this stage 4.8 hits per second this is going to go up as we level the character or as you would level a character 37% chance of a crit and 643.9% crit damage We've got a nice frost damage bonus which is good um, nice chunk of vitality and life and we can always add in on our sockets if you find that you're too squishy any sockets that you've got you can add in some emeralds and boost that or diamonds and boost your armor um, some of our more important stats life on the hip not put any of that in the build that's fine this comes from medals um, but you'll get a thousand life on hit from champion levels as you level up which is going to be more than enough um, ability rate at the moment looks low 1139 um, but again that will increase we've got 400 available to us through our champion level so uh, as you assign your champion levels this is going to hit the magic 1500 that you really should be aiming for for ability rate um, experience 1075 which is quite nice um, that is boosted somewhat by my medals but not too much I think um, as far as abilities and skills I'm using at the moment yes they're all at 10 um, I don't have a character available to show you something with lower level skills um, I've got Frostbolt and Fireball to start with. Now, Fireball is your best choice until you get Arc Lightning to at least level 7. Level 7, you'll unlock this. Um, enemies receiving 5% more damage for 18 seconds. And then at level 10, uh, your attack speed is increased by 5% for 18 seconds. Both of those will stack 5 times on your enemies. So... Uh, once you've got this to at least level 7 then it's a case of switch out but early on you're probably better off with fireball it's got much further range it does splash damage as well um, immolate frost nova frost beam pretty standard stuff and for now I'm taking our endurance just for some additional life celerity for some attack speed and we've got intense training for some more ability rate as well on top uh, so that's how that build is set up let's take a look and see how it performs in some trials so this is as a level 70 character no champion levels okay so i think we'll start off with i don't know saying relatively try 65 see what that looks like so this is with no champion levels assigned we'll bung some in in a minute after this run to see how it plays out round up a a decent amount of these not too many freeze those so I can run through them <laughs> so it burns through level 65 quite nicely these enemies at least
and at the moment we have very low um, ability rate because we haven't got any from champion levels so our skill cooldowns are taking quite a while some larger groups to fight. Probably not the best route to run around but better now. So it was two and a half minutes, which isn't particularly brilliant, but um, it gets us through there anyway. Um, if I was to say, let's take 100, 200, 300, 350, 450, that's 500, 600, 750 champion levels in and see how that applies what well, that does to our stats now our haste ratings up to 5.5 hits per second so we're now doing um, a lot more attacks than before um, and this is very useful for your frost beam since uh, this with arc lightning at level 10 if you put five stacks onto an enemy then your frost beam will hit 10 times your hits per second so 55 hits uh, and each one of those 55 hits has a chance to crit so our crit rating is now up to 42 percent crit damage is at 843.9 um, our vitality is up to 723 our life on hit is now a nice healthy 1000 or over that our ability rate has hit the 1539 so 1500 was the target for that um, so we'll find that skills cool down a lot more quickly now should we get rid of these just get them out of the way um, what I'm going to do is switch in Arc Lightning as well. Just show the build running with that. We can probably go higher. Let's take a look at 80. now because our cooldowns are that much faster thanks to the 400 ability rate that we got from uh, the champion levels and we're pulling the whole map by the looks of things which probably isn't my wisest idea <laughs> because we're using the Grand Magister's command weapon set 
these thermal shocks and shatters that we're using are keeping aggro on all the enemies for us. I hope we've got enough enemies here just to pull out Kara in one go. Probably not. A little bit short. Let's go and grab the rest. Not a great map. Not a great pool, really. So we can see up here, if we click on Kara, on her icon, our arc lightning. She's now taking 27.6% more damage and if we look at our own icon we can also see our attack speed is increased by 25% so that's five stacks of arc lightning. So let's start frost beaming away. Got this all a bit out of order, never mind. Didn't want a minion buffing her. We can come around this side and take them both out. So we got a crit hit there and it took a large chunk of her life. If we don't get a crit, we don't do an awful lot of damage. doesn't help. <laughs> Didn't play that particularly well but we got her down. So that was quite slow but as you build champion levels uh, you'll get stronger because you can then add in power which will make your attacks hit harder um, and then as you, as you can see here we've got some epics so that's going to salvage down quite nicely um, as you're able to build legendary gear you'll be looking to replace scholars items first uh, probably with crit rating as the extra stat for now um, actually crit damage we've got quite a bit of crit rating in there where are we 42 percent 50 percent is nice but i think for now if i was building this character I'd be looking at adding crit damage um, which would make this character much more stronger when we get those crits um, as we build through so that's just an idea for um, a beginners or relatively new to 70 um, build for mages for experience farming any questions or comments feel free to ask down below and I'll see you next time.